Let's bring in Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures in Chicago and uh, find out what the heck is going on here. Oliver, a big surge all of a sudden in the grain markets. And, you know, we were talking about it last week. Every day it would follow the same pattern. They'd start out open um, fairly flat, not do much of anything. And then they would elevate up to about 10 o'clock central time and then just kind of erode for a couple hours before tacking on a few cents before the close. Is that what we're seeing again here today? Well, that's that's exactly right. We saw a trend of that last week where you're pretty flat in the overnight session. You see a, a lot of participation on the floor open, and then we just kind of stall out and even retreat past 10 a.m. And we're basically right at that time right now. So the next hour is going to be, I think, a, a big factor in how the rest of the day goes and potentially the rest of the week. But as it stands, looking a little bit further out, the technicals have become very constructive, especially for this corn contract. For the better part of the last several months, we're trading in a little bit of a range. We broke out above there last week. That was 543 to 548. And that really got the fun money and the momentum traders excited about pushing this market higher. If the bulls can defend 565 to 567 on a closing basis, there's really not a whole lot of technical resistance until you get to 593 to 595. So the bulls have a, a lot of momentum right now. Let's see if it can continue past this kind of 10, 11 a.m. time frame. So we're 578 on the December 554 and a half on the December of 22, or what they call the red December contract on the corn. So the spread is, is there, but it's not all that big, really, considering it's a year out. 